I did a stand-up set, and uh, I'm going to try it again this year because it went over very well last year. And um, I promise I am prepared. I just got really nervous back there for a second, so I have my routine up here. But I didn't, I had it memorized. <laughs> uh, it's just gone now. <laughs> okay, so last time we talked about my crippling anxiety. So I thought this time let's keep it going with the whole schadenfreude theme and talk about relationships. <laughs> now you might be thinking, oh man, a female comedian, it's going to be all jokes about her sex life. Well, don't worry, I don't have any of those. And you'll understand why in the next four minutes. <laughs> all right, so. With relationships, you're either in one or you hate every single person that is. And uh, me personally, I've been struggling romantically since eh, forever. And uh, I don't know if it's my location or my age, but it's like every single eligible male and female got paired up one day and I happened to be sick. I missed the sign up sheet and I'm just out of luck forever. Now, I have been completely unlucky. I've been on a few dates, and all three of them ended with them ghosted me, ghosting me. And so I can't even send, like, a comment card saying, sorry, your experience was unsatisfactory. What can I do to do better next time? <laughs> uh, me, personally, I think I slipped up in the whole realizing I'm gay department, but I don't know. What are your thoughts? <laughs> And I talk to people about it, and they say, oh, the right one just hasn't come along yet. It's all part of God's plan. Well, why does God's plan involve teasing me so goddamn much? <laughs> it's always like, oh, here's a little hope you won't die alone, and it's gone. And here's a little hope you'll know what it's like to love, and it's gone. <laughs> why did you put me on the planet at the same time as Michael Shannon when you know I can't marry him because he is in a loving, committed relationship, and I respect the bonds of marriage? <laughs> But not all relationships are romantic, some are friendship-based, and I don't have many of those either. <laughs> uh, I was diagnosed with high-functioning Asperger's in January, and a uh, little-known trait of that is an inability to make friends. At least that's what I'm telling myself in order to feel better. <laughs> And so, because of this, I've noticed most of my stories revolve around my parents because they're the only people that I talk to on a consistent and regular basis. And I'm fine with my parents being my only friends. You know, they're very cool. Don't know if you've met them, but they're pretty solid. But I just don't want other people to know that they're my only friends. <laughs> and so, they say that one of the best places to meet people is at parties. But I don't get invited to a lot of those because of the whole not having a lot of friends thing. And so I've thought about hosting a party, maybe, but hosting a party is like babysitting a room full of toddlers. You're constantly yelling, no, don't touch that, please don't spill, no, we are all out of snacks, please stop screaming or the neighbors will call the police, please. <laughs> And uh, making friends wasn't any easier for me in previous years. I know it's hard to tell by the way I look, but I wasn't exactly popular in high school or middle school or elementary school or preschool. And I think the biggest reason for that is that I'm Catholic. <laughs> so anytime someone would suggest we get a little crazy, cause a little mischief, like go to the bathroom during class and then just hang out and talk for like an extra minute, I would say, oh man, I had another dream about going to hell last night, so I don't think I can do that. <laughs> Ask me in like 15 years, maybe I'll feel better, and spoiler alert, I won't feel any better. Uh, and even now as an adult, I struggle with that little voice that's saying like, oh man, you want to legally drink on a weeknight? Do you think you've earned that? <laughs> oh, you're going to Disneyland on Easter Sunday instead of church? Okay, well I won't tell anyone except for God. <laughs> And in summary, I'd just like to ask all of you out there to be kind to the extremely anxious, bisexual, aspie Catholics out there, because if the last few minutes were any indication, it's really hard out there for us. We are not just riding the struggle bus, we are driving it. Thank you.